supreme being, Twin Flames of Love. How are you all? I'm super, I'm not entirely happy, but I am thrilled to share with you what I'm feeling right now. And I want to tell you something you already know from the title, but uh, this is from our Twin Flame Union, our real uh, death experience, near death experience that we had. We want to share with you right now. Stay tuned. Beautiful souls, just before we start, it will mean a lot to us if you support our channel by watching uh, one or two ads, like 30 seconds, or clicking to visit advertiser, and like this will get a kick. It will be very good for us, and uh, thank you very much in advance. And give us a like, stay subscribed, and let's keep watching. Beautiful souls, what happened? We almost died, it was uh, very crazy. Uh, it happened three to four days ago. It was me who almost died, but Patty died like... To me, what happened was that uh, <clears throat> in our Twin Flame experience, it's so difficult to, to tell you this because uh, it's a death experience. It's not uh, a joke, you know, it's very, very intense. Um, me and Petya, we were already having some problems between uh, uh, in our family, uh, our emotional state, and our food and er anything related uh, with uh, stability and union. Um, I, w I got a, a crash. Uh, I, I cannot explain deeply what happened because it's too, too painful. But I, I want to go straight to the point that I crashed. I couldn't walk anymore and uh, Petya helped me to walk. And uh, I'm so grateful for her that uh, um, she endured a little bit the experience because if she was fragile, I don't know what could have happened to me. And she took me to bed and I paralyzed. I paralyzed. And uh, I started to paralyze my arms and my hands. They were cold, freezing cold. They had no more blood uh, circulation. If you ask me what happened, it's, it's crazy. It's just because we did not handle anymore our emotional state. We were just fed up. It was too much too much emotional state, too much lack of connection, you know, between family, between between anything. I I couldn't handle that we, I, I don't have already friends. I mean, yes, I have you, the subscribers who are watching, who are very cool to us, but in real life, I don't have that much friends, almost none. And family, um, my family is torn apart. I just have a couple. And And when you have a problem with your family, which is already small, you cannot handle that you and your twin flame are not okay. So this is what crashed me down. It was very bad. So what happened? I was in the bed. I couldn't move. My jaw paralyzed. Everything paralyzed. I was suffocating. I couldn't breathe. It was... Uh, my heart was gonna stop. My little heart was gonna stop. And I was like, oh no, it's not the time yet. It's not the time. I know I'm more powerful than this. And I am here to protect Petya and anything else in life. So the universe gave me another chance. I mean, I am the universe, but uh, you know, if you if you do not have control over you, you have to ask the universe help. So, so Patty gave me food. I was uh, hungry afterwards. I was like, I couldn't wait to come back to Earth and just eat. And I was like, I was drifting. My conscience was drifting. But uh, Patty was even worse. Her experience with death, um, because my mine was near death experience. Hers was really truth, was the true death. And it happened a long time ago. We were in Cambodia. I will try to film her a little bit, but uh, we are not, uh, we are doing a lot of things today, like gardening, visiting family and stuff, and um, answering to people, the videos and stuff, so we'll see. But uh, in her experience, she was in Cambodia, I was with her, of course, so, <laughs> like obviously, and um, we had a crash in our financial stability. Now we are doing better, but at this time we were very bad because we were traveling and we couldn't afford to have a crash stability uh, in the finances. And uh, our family was also something was happening, so she crashed down. She went to bed, 
and her last breath came out. I just heard, like, and it didn't come back. And her smell smelled like cancer. I just didn't like, I felt like she was dead. And I started emerging myself with the Chios energy healing and to bring her to, to life. And with her will, she came back and it was so, such a glory, such a happiness. Like I was like, wow, you're here and this happened and stuff. I cannot afford to let you go. It's, you're my only true love. I can, this is, is not, please stay, you know, please stay. I love you so much. And um, she stayed and I don't like when people go away, especially your twin flame, it's horrible. I mean, you are here right now with your twin flame to bring yourself together, you know. You cannot afford this to happen. So that's what happened and I'm so happy that we are not together. We are now happy. We are now uh, helping each other. And I have a message to you. Whatever happens, no matter what happens, please stick together with your twin flame. Help each other out. Give yourselves a break. And do not forget that B12 deficiency is real. And, and this is affecting anyone on Earth, not just vegans, anyone. And this thing collapses your nervous system and does not let you be strong to withstand stress or anything, emotional collapse. Second, be aware that it's not just B12. Uh, what removes B12 is stress, um, sugar, drugs, alcohol, uh, and anything like this. Another thing is that you will always, always have people interfering in your life. Do not let anyone interfere in your life. Always prioritize your twin flame and your love and your family. I mean, your, your inner family and then the family itself. Because you cannot let anyone interfere. If you let, you will let yourself destroy you and your twin flame and you will not forgive yourself. This is very bad. Uh, another thing I can recommend is um, to have a simple life. Do not use the mind, use the intuition, but not go with the intuition with the supreme su spiritual states. Be a little bit more grounded. Like, yeah, you use your intuition instead of the mind, but do not use the intuition in, to, into an extreme, okay? Uh, give yourselves the most beautiful experience on earth. Just focus on the simple life and enjoy, okay? Enjoy this life like this, simple. Be energetic, be happy, and be beautiful, okay? Beautiful meaning um, yourself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> baby. You're here, baby. Yes, and you too. <laughs> we are here. So, I already spoke everything on the video. Uh, what happened to me, what happened to you, and what was my reaction, how I felt, my thoughts, my feelings, everything, and about what happened to me, what happened to you. But we don't know how you feel. How do you feel with what happened to me and what happened to you in Cambodia? But you just pick one, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna start with the, how I felt when I felt that I was dying. <laughs> 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 because it really was... Um, I really felt, first of all, that I can just uh, take the decision and just go out of this body forever. I really felt this power within me that I have this capacity and I can do it like this. Literally. Yes, you have this ability. And I felt because I had a few other experiences afterwards when I just didn't feel to stay on earth. And every time this comes, I just feel like sometimes I feel like I am in a kind of a trap here on earth and I feel my soul confined I feel even the body as a restriction for my soul 
and I feel that the freedom I need is so big that nothing here on earth can give me this earth, uh, this freedom wow. because I do remember very clearly what it is to be outside of earth, the freedom you have when you are not on earth. However, we have chosen ourselves to come to earth and we all do sign some kind of contracts it's just it's just the way uh, things work here on earth you are not able to come to earth free of any contract just to be allowed to experience what is on earth it's already a contract by itself yes and um, this is what actually in such moments um uh, it makes me very, very, very sad. And in these moments, I feel that there's actually no point in anything. Um, because I am very much aware and I don't have the desire to change the world. But um, my deepest desire is actually for people to starts feeling their freedom within themselves the um, huge capacity they have as souls how much they can actually do and they don't need to depend on entities or anything or Angels channelings or, or whatever it doesn't really matter the power is within themselves and this is my deepest desire however i'm fully aware that it is up to the uh, choice of the soul what the soul needs to experience because you cannot experience the letting go if you first don't experience the restriction by itself so first we need to experience the duality so that we can drop it eventually and work within the trinity it's where the two polarities meet within the middle and this is how um, that's what it speaks about in in religion as well the Holy Spirit God and and the Sun you know um, these are actually hidden symbols and that's the most supreme way to function not just within earth but anywhere within the universe and the second is when you are about to you know it was the situation that it was almost like you were dying i uh, felt for the first time what it is to be on the other side yes because you have been experiencing the other side the whole time i was on this vibe and I, I could just imagine it, but I could not perceive it. And that's how everything works. We have to experience it to fully understand it. We are not able to understand something completely if we don't experience it. So if we haven't experienced it, we have no right to judge. Um, so at that time, I felt like nothing really matters nothing really matters here on earth and i really don't care about anything Ooh. i just care you know for us to be happy and to be free and that's it. <laughs> I love you so me very too. much, Billy. I don't care about anything else. Me neither. If we're not okay, no one is okay. Yes. And I, I felt that I'm not able to stay here without you. And that's not a contract, it's just that we are the same soul and if a part of the soul is ripped off 
the other part cannot exist. It cannot give its fullest potential. You're Bully. my everything. You're my everything too. Thank you. Thank for you everything. for existing in my life. Thank you for being me. We are one and the same being. No matter how much separation there is, we will always realize this. Thank you. Thank you, Wolu. Mm. <sighs> Hope you liked this very much. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was a pleasure to have you here. And thank you for everything. Namaste. Namaste. See you on the next video. May the love, the highest vibration be in your heart. Give us a like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And see you next time.